I'm actually, I think I might be fairly unusual in my process that, um, it's sort of hard to explain. <laughs> the, the idea is a really intuitive and very strong desire. And when I eventually make the piece years later, it's sort of held its truth which is what's really interesting. I've no, I, ha, I have a lot of really great and creative people who've worked worked with me and they all say the same thing. One of the things that's really shocking is I will draw a picture of what I want and then we'll spend this like exercise in like inventing technology and changing technology and losing budgets and having to shuffle and change and be dynamic and problem solve and it feels like the piece has like derailed and gone in like a completely opposite direction and then we'll finish the piece and the end piece will look exactly like the original picture and this is something that I always find to be completely astounding and the only thing the only thing I can say about it is somehow for me, there's a sort of truth to my initial intention, and we always come back to it. Like we, we it, that, it actually doesn't change. That's what's amazing. It doesn't change. It stays very true. Um, those inspirations I have for those pieces, they come from a place for me that yeah, it's not, it's not, um, it's not contrived, and it's not. I say that because I, I, I've worked, I've worked on a lot of other design projects where you have to really think them through, and not that they're contrived, but that you. They come from a different place, they're more intellectual. But for me, the artwork comes from a place that's just so pure and intuitive to something that I want. And the final piece is always true to that. Um, where my battle is, is often in the technology to make it be what I want it to be.